platform Grace was commissioned a little over 40 years ago, and in the ensuing years, the shells have attached themselves to the uh, base of the structure. As those die, uh, for whatever reason, old age, predation, they fall to the ground. They create a shell mount. That shell mount becomes a very highly productive breeding ground for all sorts of fish. It also becomes a nursery because of the nooks and crannies within those shells and around the shells. Those are protective areas for the young fish. So it has become very, very productive, more so than the natural reefs in this area. One of the things you'll notice on some of these structures is that the shells have attached themselves. That is because so many of the nutrients flush through this channel. It becomes a very nutrient-rich area for these animals to live in. Back in the 1950s, when the oil companies signed contracts to put these rigs out here, they signed a contract saying when the rigs were decommissioned, they would remove the entire structure right down to the sand bed. They would also scrape the bottom of the sand to remove any construction debris that remained there. In the ensuing years, Mother Nature has taken man's folly and created a habitat for many of the fish that we now see down here. Once this rig is no longer productive and pumping oil, it will have to be removed. This entire structure you see in front of me and the 330 feet down to the bottom will have to be removed by law. What's going to happen is that base of shell that we were talking about earlier is going to also have to be removed, taking it from a productive marine environment back to a desert sandy spot as is the rest of this channel.